man, she's wicked fast. This is gonna be difficult. Look at that though, <laughs> that's so cool. Love that. I'm just stalling at this point. I need to get I'm it excited. done. I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> I'm really hoping that I didn't uh, screw myself over once again. They say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. But technically this is a brown widow, not a black widow. Okay, everybody ready? Yep. Okay, she bit me. My name is Jack, and I'm somewhat of a real-life Spider-Man. It's my mission to dispel many of the myths surrounding our eight-legged friends and help change people's minds about these animals. How do I do that? By being bitten, of course. Over the course of my channel, I've been bitten by a handful of spiders, including the toxic Black Widow. Oh, oh, is that a bite? Is that a bite? Oh, yep, okay, I felt it there. Gonna see if she, oh, yep, okay. Okay. Uh-huh, okay, yeah, that does hurt a little bit. Yeah, look, look, you can see that her fangs are inside of me. There. Oh, there she goes, she released. All right, so she bit me right there. And the feared brown recluse. Oh, was that a little pinch? Oh, come on, get in there. Oh, okay, wow, that was a, wow, that was a really good pinch. Ow. Huh. In all cases, people are shocked to learn that these animals have no inclination to bite and have to be coerced into doing so. Now in today's video, I'll once again be testing my limits as I explore not only the behavior, but the venomous bite of the brown widow. Now these spiders are actually more toxic than their black widow cousins, so it'll be interesting to see the effects of this bite. Are you ready? Let's see what happens. Welcome, friends, to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now once again, I have not learned my lesson, and I am continuing to further the list of amazing and misunderstood animals and their bites and stings on the channel. So today, we're doing something a little crazy. Uh, you've requested it time and time again. Um, it has been over or almost three years since the last time I tested a creature of this caliber. Do I have your attention? Good, good. Today, my friends, is a momentous occasion. Many of you just came in recently with the Black Widow Bite Extended Cut in which I take a very large envenomation from a Southern Black Widow, Latrodectus mactans. Uh, and I've gotten many, 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 many requests since then to do more widow species. And uh, up until now, I have declined. However, you're in for a treat today. You've caught me in an adventurous mood. And uh, we're going to be testing the bite of the brown widow, Latrodectus geometricus. Uh, now, this species of widow is widespread as an invasive species in North America. Uh, they're smaller uh, than our native black widows. However, their venom is actually drop for drop more potent. Uh, however, yield, remember, is pretty much the main factor to look at 
when you're looking at spider envenomations, if the spider is too small, even a very potent venom uh, is still not going to be a life-threatening situation. Now, am I excited about this? No. As you recall, my Black Widow bite was extreme. Now I will mention that it's probably an extreme case, mostly because the Black Widow was biting me for so long. Typically they'll just bite and release. Um, that one was a little smaller, so I thought probably didn't wasn't gonna have that much of a venom yield and I needed to make sure that it latched on for a little bit longer and I now realized that this was a miscalculation on my part. Uh, it's by far the most painful thing I've ever experienced. Now, I'm estimating and making an educated guess uh, that this is not going to be as severe. I learned my lesson with the Black Widow. We're going to attempt a bite and release defensive bite, which is going to be more accurate to what you would receive if you were to be bitten by this spider. Uh, once again, these animals are super docile. Um, they're very skittish. They're not really interested in biting. Uh, they will, of course, defend their egg sacs uh, and their own lives. Uh, however, in general, these animals have absolutely zero interest in biting people. So it'll be uh, quite, a, uh, quite an adventure to get this thing to bite me. But I just wanted, once again, to uh, stick up for my little friends. I love widow spiders. They're absolutely fascinating to me. Uh, I've got a little bit of Vecna in me. Uh, I'm just fascinated by these animals. They're, they're so beautiful and they're such graceful spiders. And they come in such an array of colors. I mean, I'm wearing one on my shirt right now. There's a beautiful Mediterranean widow. Uh, Latrodectus tridescum cachatus. Uh, fantastic spiders. I really love them. And I want to show the world that number one, these are not monsters. And even if they are to bite you, uh, you're really not in mortal danger. Uh, yes, it might be painful, of course. Uh, if you're bitten by a uh, widow spider, probably your best course of action is going to an emergency care for fluids and painkillers. Uh, it's not really gonna tear you up on the inside unless you've got a lot of other complications uh, and comorbidities and things like that, but it is going to be extremely painful. Uh, so this time I'm a lot more prepared. I'm gonna stay extra hydrated to help my kidneys and uh, liver process all of this. I'm hoping to not get as full of a tank of venom as I did last time. Uh, this is a smaller species, like I said. Uh, this is an adult female. She's actually uh, at reproductive age. She's already created three egg sacs for me. Um, so uh, she should be a perfect specimen to test. I'm super excited to show you guys the power of the brown widow. Uh, so we're going to get her ready. We're going to get her out. And uh, we're going to hopefully be able to pin her without causing too much stress or pain on this beautiful spider. Uh, they are so, so cool. Such awesome animals. Uh, but uh, nothing to fear. Okay, folks, uh, we're gonna get this beautiful lady out. Like I said, look, her first instinct was to drop to the bottom of this bottle. Uh, like I said, these are not, uh, these are not very um, confrontational spiders by any means. Um, they are quite timid. Uh, you can come in a little closer, camera B. Um, you can see that this animal has really no intention of biting. She's just kind of scurrying quickly over my hands here, depositing that thick, impressive signature Latrodectus webbing, crawling back and forth. Love playing yo-yo with these spiders. They are just so cool. I wish there was a way to create a, a camera that could so perfectly capture uh, the detail on these spiders as they move so quickly. Um, I'm hoping we can get some great uh, macro shots of this fantastic spider. She's so cool. Love these spiders. They're absolutely fantastic. She almost seems to be kind of massaging me with her little heady palps right at the front. So maybe, uh, maybe she'll be quick to bite uh, once she's pinned. Like I said, no bite yet. These animals are very slow to bite. Um, not the monsters that everybody thinks they are. Uh, but in fact, animals that play an important role in their ecosystems. Like I said, these animals are invasive, and sadly, because they're smaller, they can re reproduce at such a fast rate 
uh, they're actually out competing many of our own native species. So unlike many of our other spider adventures, uh, this lovely female will come back into my possession at the end of the video uh, to live the remainder of her days in captivity, uh, pumping out lots of baby widows for me. Uh, so really, really cool. So I'm gonna try and maneuver her into a position. She's very quick. Um, like I said, these are pretty skittish spiders. Uh, you can see there's really no aggression from this animal so far, uh, but uh, I, I really wanna be as gentle as I can. Um, like my other widow bite, uh, I'm choosing to try and pin her when she doesn't have a huge meal in her abdomen. Her abdomen is, uh, is decently full, um, but I just don't ever wanna put myself in a position where I'm putting the, the most amount of strain or potential damage um, on these spiders because once again my goal is to show you guys how awesome these spiders are um, So I'm really really hoping that I can uh, do that without hurting this amazing spider Let's See if I can get her to calm down I Might try pinning her with my actual hands That might be a little easier for her <sighs> So we're gonna make her bite you for like six seven seconds like the last widow no, folks at home, don't do not do this, number one. Number two, um, have, have a general self-awareness when pinning venomous spiders to your arm. Uh, even the tiniest of envenomations can, uh, how you say, rock your world. Um, so uh, I just need to be mindful of that. I want a quick bite and a quick release. I don't want a drawn out full tank of venom mostly because that's not a realistic bite test and uh, it's about twice as severe as I would like it to be so I'm already not looking forward to the aftermath of this I, I'm I, I'm guessing and it's probably going to be less severe than the black widow bite just because it's, it is a smaller spider um, but that toxicity is, is really gonna come into play and um, I'm just stalling at this point I need to get it done okay Brown Widow. Okay, everybody ready? Okay, she bit me. I felt that. Little pinch. I can feel that she bit me. It's starting to sting a little bit now. Um, Okay, I feel good. I feel good that she didn't hold on to me for a long time. Um, okay, it's starting to sting maybe about the same level as uh, maybe even a fire ant. Um, it's, it's a little, uh, yeah, don't run away. You're my pet, you're my precious pet. Okay, interesting. Come take a look at this beautiful spider, folks. They really are just some of the coolest spiders out there. I'm really hoping that I didn't uh, screw myself over once again. They say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. But technically this is a brown widow, not a black widow. I was like, where'd she go? <sighs> was this a bad idea, folks? I don't know. I was hoping to do a wolf spider bite today, but I couldn't get it to bite me. So I was like, you know what? Instead of a nice... We'll just go one little notch up. We'll just go one slight notch up, and we'll do the brown widow that people have been asking for. Now, technically, there have been deaths by brown widows, uh, but only in Madagascar. And I have a theory that uh, through natural selection um, that uh, the animals on Madagascar are not only much larger, uh, but uh, potentially more toxic than these smaller invasive ones that have been able to spread around the world. Um, Right there, you can see the side of my bite. It's a little pink. Um, a very short defensive bite. You know what? You're going back in here for a few minutes. Uh, a very short defensive bite. Um, hopefully, uh, nothing too serious. Um, it's starting to get a little red. You can see right there is where she got me. This tiny little area here is uh, where it's a little pink. Um, I 
neurotoxin. It's not fun. What this is going to do is it's basically going to bind to my neurotransmitters uh, for many, many, many hours and basically repeat the signal of, oh my God, you are in severe pain. Never eat or touch or be bitten by a widow again. Um, they say your body can't remember pain. They say that it's hard to catalog it. And so I like making these videos because it's fun to reflect. Um, I feel like I really remember the Black Widow bite though. As brutal as that was, um, it reached a lot of people and it changed a lot of people's minds about these spiders. Because uh, yes, it was a severe bite, but the animal's temperament was something that was so shocking to people that this was not an animal that had any interest in biting me uh, until it was forced to. Um, and that's that's really my mission on Jack's World of Wildlife is to show you guys that that spiders, just like anything, are animals. They, they serve a purpose. They serve an important ecological role across the globe. And we need them. And even though they're scary and they're, they're the focus of a lot of people's fear and and false kind of discrimination, they are very important and we rely on them for our survival. Uh, they help manage other insect populations. Uh, they're amazing, amazing, amazing predators in their own right. And of course they provide tons of food for a lot of other animals that uh, we love, birds, mammals, reptiles, all sorts of stuff rely on spiders in a large part for their diet. So just take that away. Know that these are not aggressive animals. Uh, they can be defensive if they feel like their life is in um, danger, uh, but for the most part, these are animals that are more than happy to go about their own lives far from us, far from danger. So, camera B, take one last look. You can see it's welted up. See that little bump there? As you can recall, and I'll probably cut it in, uh, the Black Widow bite site was maybe two, two and a half times that size, uh, which is already a great sign. <laughs> Hopefully it's not that severe, um, but I'm always happy to put my money where my mouth is and defend my friends, the spiders, and hopefully change some minds along the way. Um, of course, if you like this video, please subscribe. Um, I go through a lot to reach as many people as possible to uh, change public perception about biting and stinging uh, arthropods. I'm happy to keep doing it. Um, I'm healthy as far as I know. You can see this bruise here. I just got blood work done. Kidneys and liver are fine. So I, I, I'm, I'm not interested in destroying my body, but I am completely fine with putting my own skin in the game uh, just to give a voice to these creatures that uh, wouldn't otherwise have an advocate standing up for them. So we're gonna see what this does. It's, it's definitely a localized achy pain, like, like somebody uh, stuck an electrified nail onto my arm and just kind of tased me right in there, a, a light tase. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see what this does. Uh, I'm, I'm really hoping for a much less severe version of the Black Widow bite. Uh, but of course, now that I'm prepared, I have uh, painkillers if I absolutely need to take them so that I can sleep. Um, but I cannot imagine that the full pain of this is going to last more than eight hours. Uh, and that is a healthy, uh, uh, liberal estimate. Uh, but it's going to be cool. I'm excited to show you guys the full extent of the brown widow spider. Um, It'll be interesting. It'll be a good uh, a good addition to the channel, I feel, and I hope that you all enjoy it. So stay tuned uh, for the aftermath because, like I said, the initial pain is not going to be right here at the beginning. Uh, it's going to be the hell that my body is put through in the next few hours, possibly days. So thanks for tuning in, and of course, stay watching if you want to see uh, uh, Do I Die? Uh, multi-system multi -system organ failure, um, necrotic organs, no, probably none of that, uh, probably 90% sure I won't die, no, much higher than that, of course, uh, these are not what I consider to be lethally dangerous animals, however, unlike the brown recluse, uh, I think these guys have earned their spot in the medically significant crowd, uh, because they can put you through the ringer, so, I keep repeating myself, 
We're gonna see what this is gonna do. Uh, I'm excited for you all to see the results. I'm gonna go home and take a cold shower and uh, probably lay down and wait for uh, this uh, misery. misery to kick in. So keep watching and thanks for tuning in. All right, here we are about five minutes. Uh, it's very achy. Um, I'm starting to feel it up in the up in the lymph node, up in the armpit. Um, but uh, check that out. That's some good kind of uh, inflammation beginning. I'm not looking forward to this, folks. Really not. But uh, I do it for you. Do it for me, Stu. You know, from the Grinch. But anyway, I guess we'll see. It's going to be interesting for sure. Um, is it going to be fun for me? No. For you? Absolutely. I'm for my cameraman, fun. he's ecstatic. He loves this type of stuff. Loves to see me just writhing in agony. Um, but uh, I'm racing the clock now, so I got to get home. I gotta get showered. I gotta put my, my pajamas on and just lay down. And I will let you guys know uh, how everything's going um, when stuff starts going. So stay tuned. Now here we are about 30 minutes after the bite. It's kinda like it got bumps and stuff on it. Kinda weird looking. Ow. Yeah, there's definitely a bite there. Hey friends, so pretty red, nice and crispy. Oh, focus please, focus, there we go. Pretty red, it's pretty sore, uh, but still pretty localized. I'm not really feeling it in the rest of the Jack's World of Wildlife uh, mortal coil. Um, so I'm going to shower because I'm ridiculously sweaty because it's like freaking 100 degrees outside every single day in Texas for the past two weeks. Uh, so I'm gonna change and get something to eat. I wanna stay super hydrated. I wanna be eating, um, making sure that uh, my metabolism stays good and I give my body enough stuff to kind of help flush out all these toxins. Uh, I think it's going to uh, get pretty uh, painful. The arm is really painful. I did have some kind of pain in my lymph node and into my chest for the first, I don't know, 20 minutes, but that's pretty much gone. Um, however, I don't want to assume uh, that this bite is going to be uh, anything less than uh, a good uh, kick in the shorts. So we're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna see how much this really lays me out. So. I learned my lesson. I learned a lot of great tips on dealing with these bites from the uh, Black Widow bite. So it'll be uh, interesting to put some of those uh, theories to the test on why that was so much worse uh, than it should have been. Uh, like I said, um, not, not really a lethally dangerous spider. Uh, I'm hoping to just um, show you guys all the effects without any, uh, any issue. Uh, but should be really interesting. I'm, I'm excited to take you along on the journey um, of the Brown Widow Bite. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool, um, but uh, time will tell. Time will tell. So keep watching. And we're going to see how rough this is going to get. Exactly two hours after the bite. Um, can't really see. It's all weird and grainy because I don't have any lights on. Um, nothing yet. I got showered. I'm sporting my sick Christmas dinosaur ice skating pajamas. I got my healthy snack, little uh, BB breakfast burrito. <laughs> For those who uh, don't know, uh, I got my water. I'm probably uh, I'm probably gonna play. Uh, some Zelda, and I'm gonna wait for uh, this powerful neurotoxin to course its way through my body and provide more interesting results to watch. So I'm gonna try and update. 
as we go along. I might have an extended cut because there's going to be a lot of updates that I may or may not want to include in just the normal cut, but we'll see. Time will tell. Um, so keep watching and we'll see what happens. Okay, folks, here we are exactly about four hours after the initial bite. Um, still nothing really systemic yet. The actual site of the bite is extremely sore. Uh, kind of feels like a continual or continuous stinging sensation. Um, but not really any body aches or nausea or cramping or really anything else at this time. It's got a really nice little circle around that initial uh, bite mark. Um, but it'll be interesting to see how this bite progresses over uh, the next few hours. Now, I will also add, I forgot to say, um, it is very clammy. Uh, the, the actual bite site and a little of the kind of periphery of the bite is very cold to the touch and kind of micro droplets of sweat, um, which is super, super interesting. That's kind of similar to the neurotoxic effects I experienced with the bullet ant sting, where I had a patch of my arm get very cold to the touch um, and have a lot of weird kind of localized sweating, which is pretty interesting. Okay, folks, here we are at like hour 10-ish, I want to say. I don't know. I think it's about 10 hours. Um, it really has been pretty much the same since hour 2-ish, maybe? Um, pretty painful. My arm is like super sore, but so far it's super localized. It's just my arm. Uh, no back pain, no nausea, no cramps, no headaches, nothing. Um, so at about this time, I think I'm going to cut myself some slack. Uh, I love this stuff. This like antiseptic, like wound wash. I use this for my recovery with the black widow bite. Uh, you just kind of like pour a little bit on top of the, uh, bite and it's actually got a little bit of pain relief in there. Um, which I really like. This is just a CVS brand. I went by CVS today. Uh, you can use any other type, uh, for any kind of like sore bug bites it does a lot to just kind of like take care of some of that surface level pain because once again i'm not really having systemic effects i'm not really having pain through my body uh, it is just on the surface of the skin uh, it's getting later so i'm probably going to wind down and go to bed soon so i was going to apply some of this just so that i can rest and my body can purge what's left of this neurotoxin but i don't see it getting much more severe than this. Uh, full effects of Black Widow kicked in after about four hours uh, and did not stop until, or start going down until about hour 15. So I think, I think this is the full extent of what we can expect from a defensive bite from a brown recluse. So super interesting. Uh, I'm glad that it wasn't uh, too bad. Hey babies, uh, we're just over 12 hours since the initial bot and um, still no systemic effects. My arm's a little pink still, but as you can see, I'm tucked in for bed. Um, do you guys like my, my ripped up pillowcase? I'm a simple man trying to make his way in the universe. So anyway, I think I'm just gonna sleep it off. I, I, I don't think it's gonna be any worse than this, so. Part of me is relieved, part of me is disappointed. It wasn't as climactic as perhaps the viewers were hoping for, but it was a lot easier for me than the last Widow Bite. So, uh, not too bad, but <laughs> um, keep watching. We'll see what, uh, what looks like tomorrow, but uh, I think this is it pretty much. I just woke up and um guys I'm so worried something horrible has happened I'm just joshing I'm just kidding um I don't know what that is I think that's a mosquito bite because that's a little bit itchy um but that right here that's the bite you can see it's it's grown um, but it's really not that painful anymore. 
I think the initial pain is gone. Again, no systemic reaction. Um, you know, like my my little hairdo here. Uh, no systemic reaction, so that's super, 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 super nice. Uh, because I was thinking, okay, maybe it's gonna be like 20% as bad as my Black Widow bite, uh, but luckily, nowhere close, um, which is amazing. Uh, so really, really interesting test, um, really, really cool. Um, I'm happy to have uh, tried this out uh, for sure. Um, I'm going to send you over to myself in the past uh, for a lovely outro, but thanks so much for watching. Uh, one last look, um, you can see my little bump there. Um, not too shabby, an interesting test. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you later. Okay, folks, by now you've seen the full extent of the brown widow bite. Um, I'm filming this right afterwards because, uh, you know, if I die or anything, um, my, my minions will still be able to release this video uh, for your enjoyment. And a GoFundMe can be created for my immediate family and uh, close friends. And, of course, my Neoponder Velosa colony who will need someone to care after them. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, um, despite how crazy I am, uh, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss any future videos of awesome stuff. Buy the merch. We got tons of awesome Latrodectus. Surprisingly, no brown widows at the moment. Um, but I really appreciate your patronage. I appreciate your viewership. Thank you to all my members and Patreon uh, supporters. All of this stuff is entirely dependent on your support. Um, and... Uh, Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much. I'm glad that you were able to uh, enjoy this video at my expense. Uh, but that's what I'm all about. Sticking up for my friends, the uh, Widow Spiders and other creepy crawlies. And uh, putting my skin in the game and my health on the line to uh, prove my point. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate uh, your view. And uh, stay safe. And I'll see you next time.